I ruined it by laughing. <laughs> okay. Hey man, what's happening? It's Phil X with the glasses! Um, this is a 2013 Scala, made by Leo Scala. Leo Scala. I wonder if he's related to Malacca Scala. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> this is called the underdog with sound vents. You're going, what are sound vents, Phil? Well, let me tell you. This is an amber fiddleback and a maple cap. And in between, you have these sound holes because it's chambered. And you get, it actually, it only it happens on the top from the neck joint all the way to almost to the, the strap peg at the back. So what you got is every time you hit a really hard chord, you have this gush of air blow your face off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it sounds really cool. So um, this is, Leo Scala made this for Fred at Americana. They, cause he, he, I remember him coming by last year with a couple of guitars. And they said, hey, can you make one for us? And this is what he made. And it's pretty amazing. The neck profile is totally 58, Les Paul. Um, you can tell it's kind of a, a Les Paul style. Looks pretty damn close. Volume tone and a toggle. And the pickups are made by my buddy Rob at Arcane. They're called 57 Experience Humbuckers. Um, this weighs eight pounds. And as you may know or may not know, uh, my favorite weight and a, lot, a, a very popular weight for Les Paul is between eight and nine pounds. And because this is chambered, eight pounds is probably awesome. It's Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Brazilian. You know what that means? Great tan lines. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, by uh, Brazilian, what I mean is Brazilian rosewood is probably the best rosewood on the planet. All right? Okay. 5A book matched. Is that what that means on the top? That's the top, right? Pretty crazy. 22 medium jumbo frets. So, um, let's go clean. I'm in Tone Master. Now, the Tone Master, here's the thing. It's not cranked. I want you to hear what this guitar sounds like turned down. I have it on around seven. This is the neck pickup. And we're gonna do some arpeggiated dissonant open string thing. Sounds like a. Do it in the middle position. the back position. Now if I turn it up, then you get... <laughs> that tone master sounds awesome. Holy shit. I love the solo. <laughs> I suck today. It's, um, is it Don Felder or Joe Walsh? Anyways, it's uh, New Kid in Town, Eagles. Um, same record as. I got my own kick drum. Yo, Billy. Ow, check out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Whoa, black Betty, bam a lamb, whoa, black Betty, bam a lamb, black Betty had a child, bam a lamb, game ding gone wild. This is not a guitar demo, this is a floor demo. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I want to play some uh, drills because this guitar sounds great. <laughs> I do a lick, a really fast lick, in Stink. So Stink is on the new, not new, but most recent, uh, we play instruments and shit. Shit. We play instruments and shit. We play instruments and shit. 
uh, drill CD, and um, so drills is it's kind of like a. <laughs> Now somebody want me to show break down the chorus. In the chorus, um, in the chorus, I wanted to keep it really simple. And so the first half is really simple, and the second half is less simple. But it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I sing that. Okay, so this is a chorus of the Stink song. Stink. So I'm gonna do it really slow. I'm gonna sing it nice and low so you can hear what I'm doing. The first half is simple, second half not so simple. I'm all over you. I'm all over you. I'm all over you. All over you, Max Stink and shit. The licks in there are like... So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I go... And then I gotta sing it. <laughs> and then the solo, I'm switching to the Marshall. That was, what was that? That was the Tone Master, that's correct. But wait, before I switch over, this is the neck pickup. Okay, now switch it over to the JMP. This is the Marshall. So the solo is kind of like uh, my take on, it was kind of like a ripping off, kind of like uh, a Zeppelin, kind of the boom, boom. But it was more like... Uh, Okay, so that's like Eddie Van Halen. This is how it came up with the slick, right? Pentatonic boxes. So somebody wanted to break down to the solo. So these are the boxes I'm using. Now, so I came up with this lick first. So then I thought, well, how could I make that even crazier? And then I was, at the same time, I was doing this lick. So, I got in. So I kind of put them together and it sounded like. <laughs> so let's slow, let's slow that sucker down. One more time. Something like that, I forget how it goes. But the beginning, the main ingredient in that solo is that crazy lick, and I just slowed it down for you, so you can work on that when you got some free time. All right, um, this guitar sounds awesome. Um, this is the neck pickup through the Marshall JMP, the 76. Let's play in a stupid key. C! And somebody's gonna write, why doesn't he use his pinky? And I don't know. 
It's the truth. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. You know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm like, I'm playing off the, the overdrives quite a bit this round. Because, uh, hey, I didn't even see that. Look how cool that is. What's it do? I don't know. Why is it there? I have no idea, but it looks cool. Yeah, yeah. wait. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're in the Marshall, and um, it's 1976, you know? They were, they were kind of hot back then, but you, you kind of, you only need an overdrive if you're a wussy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the beginning of the solo of the beer song, which is called I Wish My Beer Was As Cold As Your Heart, which is something that's gonna might happen. Gonna maybe, uh-huh. One, two, one, two, Yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>